Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com. This uh, video tutorial will show you some basic methods for viewing objects in 3D. And here I've just got a sample drawing of some chairs and a table. And we're going to look at it a couple different ways. And a lot of times you might want to look at it, you know, say from the top view and um, look at it from a side view. And there's lots of different ways you can do that and just looking in uh, one big uh, fixed viewport and you can see that I can look at it any way I want but if you have a more complex drawing you can choose up to four viewports and these will be all at the same time and they're all live as well and you just have to click in one and I'll make this top left one the top viewport the next one down I will change it to the left and the bottom one I will do for the front view you should just barely see on my list there and this looks a lot better if you have a nice monitor something bigger than the very small screen I'm using and that's a southwest view for the main one so I can kind of see everything so you see I've got a chair I'm moving it and it moves, and it moves it in all viewports instantly as I change it saying you know just grab the table move it over and it doesn't always look like it's moved and if I highlight it in another viewport and undo everything goes back to normal so just something to get used to everyone's gonna find their own specific way that they actually want to view things in um, my personal favorite is a southwest view on one viewport and that's mostly because I'm used to working in 3D and it's a little easier for me to visualize. Next I'm going to show you how to create a perspective view using the dView command. But before I do that, I have to start up and uh, create some lines. And I've gone 9 feet away from the table, 5, six, five foot 6 up. And I'm creating a site, of, uh, sorry, a a line of sight that goes from say an average person's height looking down the table and so I start the dView command I select the table and I select my line and you'll see why I select the line in a moment next I want to create points and so I type in PO enter and select my target which is where I'm looking at and my camera so I select those two points and then it shows the table and then I change the distance that I'm looking at and I'll put that to about a one times view and since it's a little off in this very small monitor I type in PA so I can pan up and see the table and chairs a little more fully so from there I want to type in H and that'll hide it so that my 3D view now gives me kind of a little bit more realistic view and if I'm happy with that I can see the tables the chairs and now I want to save it so I type in V for view and let me just move this dialog box over and this allows me to create a new view that will save the view I'm currently looking at this perspective view and I can have a great number of these and call them up at any different time. So I'm going to call this one Perspective End. Press OK. And now you'll see it's added in my list of model views. And that means a model space view. So now that I've got my view, I've named it, I've saved it. Now I can just go to my southwest view. And if I don't want it shaded for while I'm looking at it, I can go to View visual styles and 2D wireframe and it's kind of back to how I started the drawing and everything's the way I like it but if I want to go back to that perspective view I select it put set current press OK and I'm right back there and considering that it can take you quite a long time to get just the view you want it's a great option to be able to save it and then I can undo that go back work on my drawing and another option is 3D orbit type in 3D O 
and now I can just kind of click and rotate it around and get any kind of angle of view I want and this is kind of handy when you have a very intricate drawing it will allow you to get into the areas you want from the angle you want quickly and easily so I can go back to my southwest view again so these are just some basics um, it's good to look at all the options under the view menu and get used to the how they work and once again you will find your own style for how you want to work with your viewing options in 3d so it's been my CAD site thanks for watching